Hey everyone, this is Pastor Dave from St. John in Woodbury, Minnesota. Thanks for checking out today's five minutes of hope for Tuesday, May 19th. Uh, up here in the Bowl North, it is a beautiful day. Uh, just gorgeous. The sun is shining. It is warm outside. Uh, just a, a wonderful spring day. Uh, for me, it's a great day because as you can see, if you watched uh, yesterday, you'll notice the difference. I have less hair on my head, so I uh, gave myself a nice little uh, haircut, a uh, buzz cut. So one of the perks, I suppose, of, of being a, a balding person is that uh, we don't uh, need the salons or the uh, uh, barbershops to be open because uh, we don't have much hair. You can just cut your own hair at your own convenience and nobody's the wiser. So uh, I guess that's one perk of uh, just not having much hair. So uh, made it a good day for me and uh, makes me feel a little bit cleaner and fresher today. So uh, whatever's going on in your life, I too uh, also hope that you are having a great and wonderful day. Uh, but as always, no matter what's happening in your life, I pray that you are filled with peace, with joy, with hope, uh, because you know what Jesus has done for you. Uh, so today is always got a couple of things, got our joke for the day uh, about a woman at uh, the Grand Canyon and also some devotional thoughts on uh, putting other people first, uh, serving others, taking that posture of service and love. So our joke for today uh, is about a woman, excuse me, a woman uh, who is hiking the Grand Canyon and uh, she's just taking in all the sights and all the uh, the sounds uh, of nature. And so uh, she was gazing at, at the cliffs, at the beauty, the majesty of what she was looking at. In fact, uh, she was so enthralled uh, that she wasn't really paying attention to where she was walking. And all of a sudden, she found herself slipping off the edge of a cliff and, and she, she was able to grab the edge of the cliff, but she started to cry out for help. And she starts to cry out to Jesus and she says, Jesus, save me. Jesus, help me. I can't hold on for much longer. And all of a sudden she heard a voice and it was the voice of Jesus. And Jesus said to her, dear daughter, I hear you and I will save you, but I want to see a sign of faith from you. So I want you to let go of the cliff and trust that I will carry you back to safety. And the woman looked down and she sees that it's about 300 feet to the bottom of the cliff and she looks at her grip and then she looks back down and then she looks at her grip and she ponders, she thinks, and all of a sudden she cries back out to Jesus and she says, Jesus, can I talk to your dad? <laughs> there you go. Joke of the day. If you're afraid of uh, cliffs, the heights, I apologize if I uh, sent you off into bad memories right there. But uh, hopefully that brought a little smile to your face on this Tuesday. So like I said, our devotional thoughts for today are connected to humility and service uh, and uh, really putting other people before ourselves. And we see this in John, uh, John chapter 3. And uh, this is the account of John the Baptist. So John the Baptist uh, was the forerunner for Jesus. He was the one uh, who came to prepare the way for Jesus and his ministry. Um, and so it's interesting that once Jesus does show up and he starts to call his own disciples, uh, people start to get a little concerned because they notice that uh, John's disciples, his followers, actually start to leave him to follow Jesus. And they kind of wonder how John is going to respond to that. Uh, but it's amazing and, and wonderful, um, actually, how John responds to this. I want to read to you again. This is from uh, John chapter 3. Um, and again, um, you know, John is baptizing. You know, people are leaving. Um, and so, um, you know, in verse 26, it says, They, uh, that is uh, this crowd, so, uh, you know, uh, the crowds that were there, some of the Jews, they said, uh, They came to John and said to him, Rabbi, the man who was with you on the other side of the Jordan, the one you testify about, look, he is baptizing, everyone is going to him. Now, it's interesting, Jesus uh, wasn't actually baptizing, it was G uh, Jesus' disciples, but again, they're saying everyone is going to him. You know, they're leaving you, they're not following you, they're actually following Jesus. And, and John responds this way, because he knew it wasn't his job to gain a following, it was his job to point people to Jesus, to prepare them to receive Jesus. And so he actually talks about this fullness of the joy that now Jesus has showed up. He says, the joy is mine. It is now complete. He must become greater. I must become less. I find it interesting right now, again, with everything going on, that there seems to be more and more division and debates right now. And again, I think it's, this is uh, nothing new. You know, we in our fallen humanness, we have a tendency to always want to be right. And so naturally right now, people are really starting to be vocal about not only the virus, but how we're handling the virus and responding to the virus and protections from the virus and saying, look at me, I'm right. But I think right now is a great opportunity to emulate John the Baptist. 
that we say, you know, it's really not about being right. It's not about proving that what we think is the correct thing to think, that our way is the best. Right now, it's to be like John, which means to serve others, to love others, to humble ourselves before others, uh, and to point others to Jesus. And so that's my prayer for us, you know, right now, that, that during this time, we wouldn't spend all of our time, our energy, uh, trying to prove how right we are, to, to force our opinions on others, but we would spend this time uh, humbling ourselves to love others, to care for others, to serve others, to be like John, and ultimately to point them to our hope, to point them to Jesus.